beauty. That's great. She is a beauty. Just about all of the really big animals in the hall, including the big Alaskan brown bears behind me, were done by Robert Rockwell. And he's just an extraordinary artist. All of the dioramas here at the museum are wonderful moments composed at a point where the animals are in arrested motion. So therefore, they, they really do have this believable moment, of a, a moment in time. And that's really a credit to Rockwell's ability to compose and come up with a really believable, distinctive character in his sculpture. The mounted specimens are done in a very traditional sculptural way, and that's what Carl Akeley brought to museum exhibition. Carl Akeley used mold making and casting and references, field references, that he would take directly from the collected specimens. Careful measurements were made in the field, plaster molds made of the facial details, sometimes the entire side of the body to capture the musculature. Once back here at the museum, the skeleton of that particular individual was articulated by using iron and wood to support it. And then over the top of that articulated skeleton, in the pose that it would be featured in, in the diorama, clay was applied. And the full anatomical muscular detail was restored and recreated. The skin came back from the field as well. So once here, the skin would be tanned and preserved. Since that sculpture was based on the measurements, the same animal that the skin came from, the skin fits like a glove. So that the skin is then applied over a cast of that clay sculpture. The final specimen is then bolted into position in the landscape of the diorama.